Hey everybody, welcome back to Eldris Barbecue. So last week I seasoned the new fire table properly and she's ready to go. I've got myself some beef back ribs, we're going to hang them, let's just experiment and see how we go today. So I've seasoned the fire table, it's a bit breezy outside today so I'm making maximum use of the windshield protector that I got along with this grill. If you haven't checked the first video that we put up of this grill, check it out. Link is provided up above. A combination of some lunk charcoal as well as some hardwood. You know what time it is. All right, so the next thing to do is to light it up. Keep in mind that I'm still learning this grill and it's only my second cook here, but I'm so glad that I've got this windshield protector. The smoke's gonna go up, it's gonna make it so much easier for me. I've removed the grill because I'm gonna hang these beef back ribs. Okay, so I've got my fire burning away nicely. It's probably gonna take about 60 minutes to get a nice bed of coals, which gives me plenty of time to go and get the beef back ribs, let them get up to temperature a little bit, give them a good season, and then we're gonna start hanging. With the beef back ribs, we're gonna keep it nice and simple. We're simply going to remove any loose fat and then we're gonna score the membrane. And for seasoning today, you can't go past, just keep it nice and simple. Kosher salt and black pepper. I'm just gonna find a suitable spot to throw my hooks into. As I said, we're gonna be hanging these today. I'm starting to get a reasonable bed of coals firing up here, so I'm going to hang my beef back ribs now. That said though, I really think next time I do this, I'm gonna be firing up a separate fire exactly below where I'm gonna be hanging those ribs. It will just give off a little bit more heat and probably accelerate the cook a little bit for me. Okay, so we are approximately one hour in to these beef back ribs smoking away on the new grill. What I'm going to do now is just take them off and I'm going to change the position of the hooks. I'm just a bit concerned that the bottom of those ribs are going to be cooking quicker, obviously, because that's where the, the better coals is. So I'm just going to simply rotate it around to make sure I've got a good, even cook. Nothing difficult here. I'm just simply going to place another meat hook on the other end and hang the ribs back up. Now I can feel and I can see that I'm losing a little bit of heat here. So I need to put a little bit more timber in. I'm still rendering a little bit, but it's not as hot as what I want it to be. I've had a little bit of smoke for about an hour and a half going through the ribs. So I'm gonna get my V grill and then shift the coals over to the other side and try and get it nice and hot. In the meantime, this is a real simple base just so I can keep those ribs nice and moist. Beef stock, salt, pepper, and thyme with a little bit of garlic. That's all I put in there. To state the obvious, paying attention to the fire is so important. And I knew that already, but I was trying to do too many things at the same time. I was playing with the video. I was getting a few different parts of the cook ready, but hey, it's a great lesson when you're cooking with fire. Starting to get a little bit of drawback from those bones as you can see, but I'm not as hot as what I want to be. You can hear the fire crackling away in the background. That's because I've added some lunk charcoal. I need some heat in here. Okay, so for the rest of the cook, I'm gonna make the video pretty simple because I lost a little bit of heat from that firebox there. I've got it back up to some decent temperature now. There's coals are gonna come through. We're gonna finish off this cook. The ribs, they're starting to drip beautifully in terms of rendering that fat. Should be about another 45 minutes to an hour, I reckon. I've just made myself a chimichurri, and I cannot wait to dig in for some lunch. So indeed, not paying attention to the fire, making that chimichurri, I lost a little bit of heat. So it's time to accelerate this a little bit. I'll put some timber down. Yes, it is certainly accelerating that cook, but I've got a nice bed of coals forming now. In no time at all, those ribs really started to cook. So I removed the V grill and I've hung these beef ribs back up just so I can finish the cook off. As you can see, the fat is just pouring off the ribs. It's absolutely perfect, exactly where I want to be, but I don't want them to burn, which is why I've hung them again. 
I'll remove the ribs for a little bit of a probe just to make sure that they were tender and sure enough they were done. So time to pull them off, give them a rest for about five to 10 minutes. All right, let's slice into these and enjoy some lunch. Cooking over the coals, I've certainly got a much crispier bark than what I'm used to when I'm cooking in my barrel smoker or pellet smoker. I absolutely love chimichurri when it comes to my beef. Let's dig in and give this the taste test. It looks good. It was tender when I was probing. Let's give it the taste test with some beautiful chimichurri. Let's go. Mm. It's good, it's tasty. Your chimichurri certainly makes it 10 times better. You've got that char, which is nice. You've got that crunch, which you don't usually get in the smoker because it is over the open flames. Probably could have rendered that fat a little bit slower. I think when I put it on the V grill, it really sped everything up with the fat dripping through. But hey, it's all learning. Great cook, really enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching guys. Stay tuned for more. Catch you later. Cooking with the fire table is so much fun. And these beef ribs, they turn out pretty good. AJ came down, he gave him the taste test as well. He was really happy with them too. Thanks for watching, guys. Plenty more videos to come. We'll see you again in the future.